All right, I'm going to show you something real quick on this Yamaha. This is the CR820. It's got the old school, let me grab it for you. The old school style cabinet where you slip the whole entire receiver in and then mount it from the bottom with the screw so it slides inside. You can see the old school looking cabinet there. The, it's late 70s receiver. But, to me, that's an old-school 60s-style cabinet, but that's what they were going with, the Yamahas, anyway. I was just going to show you a couple of quick things. One thing is the tuner knob. You cannot remove the tuner knob until you take it out of the cabinet. Most of them, of course, you can just grab and pull. All these knobs just slide right off. These ones are on a round shaft for these guys, the selectors. And they have a set screw. It's an Allen wrench, two millimeter Allen wrench, just standard set screw. Well, we go to pull off this for the tuner. I only have that in there for spacing just to show you. This guy here, you have to access a set screw down in through here. So once you take it out of the cabinet, actually it has two set screws and they are also two millimeter. See if I can get on there. And I was just going to show you that in case you're trying to get one of these guys set or get one apart. Don't get all impatient, go stupid on it. Just got to get it out of the cabinet. I was going to show you also the reason I have this wire tie out. Because the gap on these, this one and these ones are the same way. You could push that in too far and then you're just scratching up against the front. So. For a spacer, when I set these, I use a black wire tie, whatever you have, for consistent spacing. So that's why I have that there. Pull that out. Consistently space, and it'll look nice. Another thing I thought was interesting, this one here, this one's in really good condition. Still has this guy on there. Yamaha Orthodynamic Headphones. And those, just your standard jacks. But that was still with it, which I thought was interesting, because... Thing's been around a while. It's actually really clean and really good condition. I'm just doing basic cleanup service on this one. And it sounds great, as most Yamaha receivers tend to do.